how do you get started with opening a physical therapy clinic? I know that this process can be confusing and can be difficult when you don't know where to begin. So we want to make a video to help make it a little bit clearer and help you know how to get started. So one of the things that was confusing to me when we started was how to get set up with insurances. So when we applied to get set up with Medicare, I didn't know you had to actually have your physical location all set up and complete prior to applying. So I did it backwards and it got denied. So I had to redo it. And when you search, like when we got started, we searched like how to open a private practice. It gives you steps, but they're vague and they don't tell you like all the in-between steps. And I know when you don't know something, when you try to Google it, you don't even know what to ask. So that's what we hope to help you with today. And in the description of this video, we're gonna link a free PDF checklist of the things you need to complete before you get started with opening your own practice. Buying your first home can feel a lot like opening your first business. When you're getting your first home, you have to consider a lot of things like your budget, your location, if you're getting a loan, insurance. This is similar to opening a business. You have to consider your business structure, your location, your budget, tax ID number, and all of this can be really overwhelming. In both situations though, there are ways to make these endeavors go smoother. Connecting with people is one of the ways that can help make this process go much smoother. So when you're buying a house, it's helpful to have a realtor with you to do it. So they can help you find a home, they can help you with your specific budget, they can help you search the area, and they can be really useful as well as family and friends or people who have bought in a home before and they can give you advice. And this same thing is the same when opening a business. So if you get in touch with an accountant or a lawyer or somebody who has opened a physical therapy clinic before you, it's really useful to talk to these people because they can help you through this process to make it much smoother. Planning is another way to get started. I think about buying a home, sometimes we dream of this beautiful place. I want to mention. <laughs> but, that's, <laughs> but that's not necessarily realistic, especially for a lot of us. Like, our, your first home might be a mansion, but my first home wasn't. I was like renting this space above someone's garage. So it had peak ceilings. We didn't even have a full size fridge. And you had to do like this if you were standing up in the bathroom, which is ridiculous. But that made sense for us. That made sense for our budget. That made sense for our family size. And that made sense for our needs at the moment. So I think of that when starting a business. A lot of times we dream of this like ideal clinic. Like if I had a clinic, I would I would make it like this and I would do that and these colors and this atmosphere. But you, but you have to start somewhere and for a lot of us it's not realistic to have your dream but to start small and work up from there so you know it might start with renting your own space and building your own plinth and you know starting out with just two staff and maybe not having an office person but starting small and then working up to that planning what this looks like planning realistic is maybe a good start. Knowing your budget will help you decide what kind of clinic you can afford. So whether you have to get the realistic rental home or whether you can get the mansion over here. And if you maybe you have a low budget and you can't afford a lot, that's okay, but start looking for places that you can afford then. And for us, that was renting space in a gym. Um, we also have a friend who rented space out of a dance studio. So look around your area and see what are some small affordable places that you could rent or you can start out small to build your up. Besides your budget, the other big thing to consider up front is what your business structure is going to be. And an accountant can help you figure out which one is best for you. But this is something like, are you going to partner with somebody? Or are you going to do this all on your own? These kind of decisions impact not only you financially, but also decision making wise. So knowing this and deciding this up front can help you get started in this process. Another big thing to consider when planning is your target audience. So knowing who you want to treat. This is really important when setting up your structure and planning out your ideal clinic because it impacts a lot about your business. So if you want to treat, for example, pediatrics and that's your avatar patient is the younger population, then that will affect where you want to be located at because you don't want to be located inside a crowded, noisy gym, but you might be better off in a small, quaint dance studio or something like that. And for a lot of other things like that, if you want to treat the geriatric, geriatric population, then it might be better to be in an elderly neighborhood or something like that, or in a senior living center or something like that. That can help you out determining what you wanna do and how you wanna set up your business is understanding your target audience. So there's a lot of things to consider when planning your clinic, and that's why we wanted to say again, like in the description, there's a free PDF that you can go through and, and check off because it would take a lot of time to actually go through this in one video. When you're getting started with opening your own practice, we encourage you to actually 
sit down and write out all of your ideas. So when we talked about you know connecting with people and how that's important, maybe what you could do is write down five people who you could best connect with to help you through this process. Write down their contact information and how to reach out to them. And also with the planning section, write down, you know, go through our checklist and write down how you envision your clinic to look and plan it out, get your concept out there. That way it'll help you get started. Just like with buying a house, you could scroll through Zillow forever and not actually buy a house if you don't take that next step. So I think about like with opening a clinic, you could plan this all out, but because you don't feel super confident about it, you just never take that next step. It reminds me of basketball. If you never shoot, you're never gonna score. And it's okay to miss, just like in business. It's okay to make mistakes. That's how we actually learn. So thanks for watching, guys. Let us know in the comment section if you want to open up your own private practice and if you have any other questions about it. And be sure to like the channel, subscribe to the channel, do whatever you, I don't know, just see ya. Awkward. <laughs>